so I think he wants to get out an elephant and tusk yeah, the, the Soviets into submission that way. Yeah, this is uh, now game number three um, from the best of five, like I said, and uh, one Ivan Dave have a third chance now to probably turn around those sadly bad games uh, they had in the first two of the best of five. And it feels really like uh, maybe they just warmed up right now and will have much better time in this game. But we will see Atomic and Brosras have very strong plays in the last two games and getting in the first game even a very good turnaround and uh, back into the game situation moment. Yes, it's true. However, Dave and Von are very, I would have to say, definitely stronger in their access element right now, especially after game one. Um, it was a very unlucky game, which they should have, which most of us would have thought they would have won that. But um, the push at the end and the howitzer constantly hitting base seemed to have just hurt them in the long run. But it's a completely different map here. So mm -hmm. uh, I don't think howitzers or anything along the lines of that will be very effective in this map due to its length. So it'll be very intriguing to see what happens. It's interesting to see um, that they're doing like in the last game, trying to split off instantly. Everyone yeah. goes for their side, they're playing like 2 1v1 at the moment. Also, one Ivan and uh, Dave doing the same thing. They um, just decided in this game right now to uh, switching to 1 versus 1, everyone on one side to try out where is the enemy, where can we do better. Because in the last yeah. kind of. Um, games this doesn't turn that well at least in the second game one Ivan Dave have a bit of a problem to dealing with those double mm. attacks on both sides mm. this, is, this is this is true however Dave and Von are the, the better 1v1 players by far I would have to say they both like, proceed very well in the 1v1 environment so I feel like the, the reason why it throws them off is I think it's the resource flow is completely different in a 2v2 than in a 1v1 so I would say that's probably one of the main reasons why it doesn't always work out to a 1v1 situation as it always does. We're seeing for sure a heavy uh, infantry start from Artovic going for four conscripts. Meanwhile, Prosras yeah. uh, drawing his normal uh, T2 um, yeah. tech with double MG at the moment, Maxis yeah, and, a and, those, and a mortar as well on the battlefields to deal mm. with uh, probably the MGs from the enemies. Definitely. However, Dave's doing a very good push on the center here and locking it down very nicely. Especially with his MGs. Lay laying down some uh, sandbags as well, but it's going to get caught by the conscripts on the, mm -hmm. on the left side. MG looks like it's going to go and support Von, though, on the right side, dealing with the conscripts in the building. Yeah, which double MG, which right is now. really nice here. We're seeing also some very good uh, wires at the uh, cars yeah. on both sides set it in. Now both MGs mm. are set it up and I think you're getting flanked at the moment from another conscript squad which probably are not fast enough to get outside and have to retreat here after those friends getting into yep. the fight as well. Yeah, they have a very good engagement on the left side, not losing any models and pushing back the conscript squad as well with the Pioneer and the Grenadier behind cover. So that was a very good job and holding the holding both munitions right now so that's going to be very good to get those early MG 42s for the Grenadiers and rifle nades. Nice mortar use here as well, trying to take down the cleanse behind the cover. And also, again, Definitely. very nice flank from the pioneers, yeah, the MG, trying to get onto the MG, take yeah. down. Possibility you could, this MG could go down, actually. No, I think it's safe. Getting a lot of damage, but he reacted fast enough to get away and could also going away with the mortar without a lot of trouble. And concert yeah. coming to help. Out a bit. We, have, we, have, we have a very stealthy Maxim moving in the north as well. Probably going to try and get the fuel cut off as well by the look of it. This is a good, very good move to be honest. He could easily yeah, um, a... camp there. He probably don't know if that is a conscript or any other kind of um, supporting weapon which is capping there. So he could just surprising the first enemy who just joined there. I don't know this, this is very yeah. setup right now. Probably should be going more into right uh, right side than into the north uh, south side. I've, I think you're just going to want to decap it and then probably going to hop in the building. Mm -hmm. I, that's what I think we'll do. Oh, there is a grenadier responding, and there is a telemine being placed up as well. Not sure. It, not sure if the play, the combat engineers with the flame for a saw. I don't know. Very low pioneer on the north side. Get away without losing a model. Probably getting yes. some shots in. No. Gets away now. He needs really Maybe a medic bunker, which is right now in yeah. build and will be upgraded in the base. Yep, 
Rifle Nade had to push the Maxi back in the north, so fuel should be recapped. Well, Von Ivan is doing a very good job in taking the fuel in the, I'll say on the east, yeah, the east side. Mm -hmm. yeah. Map control is totally in the hands for Dave and Von Ivan in the start time. Yeah. They have double ammunition all the time, most likely, and also triple VP cap for a short time. Makes yeah. it for I'm, them I'm, yeah. very, I'm very good. I'm very surprised we don't, we don't see the MG42's upgrade yet, but he, Von has got it very early. Medic bunker up, so that's most likely what he spent with his munitions. Yeah, so. that's that's what I think too. Medic bunkers are more important. Sometimes. We have a more we have a mortar that could be going down to the plane for a combat engineer on the east side. Yeah, should should be safe. I think he's uh, switched the situation against the other pioneer, yeah. which is now in trouble. Also, the pioneer from uh, Artovic is low health now, but he didn't try to retreat. He tries to push more and get at least um, the behind cover staying. Uh, Crendon. This could be going uh, down. Be luckily, yes. oh, it didn't oh, drop the LMG. That was luckily. It would be just a good upgrade for the conscripts. Yeah, for the conscripts. It's still a very, it's the one unit he upgraded, and it's a, it's kind of, it's kind of neglected that early game double munitions that he had really. MG in trouble in the building. Yes, in trouble with the, yeah the mortars extra damage to buildings now since the recent patch is really helping. He's just to switching deal with the MGs. situation with yeah. another MG. It seems that um, it seems that Brozras is obsessed with keep on keeping that cut off for the fuel, not wanting to get the axis get the light the light vehicles out very soon, which could yep. be a possibility. Because we have tier, we have Battle Phase Two actually being tech for one already, so we might be even seeing a rush for a Panzer Four coming out. So no T2 building is interesting. So he's really oh. pushing instantly for he's maybe an Ostwind or T4. P4. Yeah, I think I feel like he's probably going for for T. T3. If he goes for T4 mm. now, it's probably could go wrong after all. They don't have double they fuel, could. so there's no pack on the field either. Yeah, there's a possibility that there could be a rush for a Brumbars. We all know Von loves these Brumbars from the past, from the recent games he's played. Yeah, that's true. He is really like his Pumas. Yeah, Paul, uh, there's, a, there's a conscript at risk here, having to do a retreat path for three units. It should be okay. It's got these plenty of model health left and four models. It seems that Artvik is struggling to keep the, um, to keep the south side out. Yeah, the bomb seems to be doing a big push on Ooh. it. Possibly losing a conscript on the retreat if the flame for a change is direction and the MG keeps on hitting it. Uh, MG firing still, also Krenz uh, firing, but it's not enough. It gets away with the. He was trying to, to get those MG down, which is also mm. very low. There's another conscripts yes. now around, yes. but he, yeah. the and conscripts MG's also in risky. trouble. Conscripts could be going down oh, the here. Mortar saved it. It looks like the mortar saved it. Another possible conscript wipe. Getting away Again, as well. Again, it's safe. The RNG gods are smiling on Artvik today. Uh, yeah, Artvik have in all three games so much luck at the moment, and just losing oh, in this no. moment oh, the luck. Oh, and oh, Karma is, is a yeah. we, we jinxed it. We jinxed him. We jinxed him. Oh. Th that well, mortar hits. Shows that yeah. What a surprise. That mortars can still wipe squads. Yeah. But there are three mortars. Four at least. One is just the uh, root. Von Ivan just lost the, um, lost the pine. No, he just lost the unit. He lost, yeah, mortar team just got decrewed. Yeah, gonna, exactly. Yeah. But he can take it back, so he has this yeah. uh, third mortar still on the field soon. Mm. Artix, um, I, would have to, I would definitely have to say that the Axis' army is definitely stronger. Although Artix is prepping for those light vehicles already and does have a Zis on, on the field. Yeah, this one is that what I need because uh, one Ivan just mm. teched up T3 and could be going for an Oswin very soon if he not and waiting he for a P4 with me still probably around a minute. Mm. Good rifle grenade onto a. Um, MG in the on the on the, on the center star roughly on the southeastern part, southwestern part. Sorry, mm -hmm. almost wiping the squad. Very low model health. Oh. The mortars, the mort the indirect fire that the axis is bringing, it seems to be doing a, putting a big toll. We have three axis mortars right now compared to just the two Soviet ones. So, however, we do have a. I'm surprised we don't have a 120 mil actually being picked because there's a doctrines that can bring it. 
Actually, no, there isn't. They don't have a doctrine available that can bring the 120. You're still both uh, Doctor and Picks from uh, Dave and One Ivan, so um, they exactly know what tactic they were playing on this map. And like like we still see it before, Elephant is one of the lawless Doctors on this um, map as well as the ISU. I feel like we will see an ISU soon as well from yeah. Bros Ross, maybe. Yeah, but we see an Ostwing on the field from Bon. So he, uh, yeah. he did rush that quick tier, tier 3 and bring up the Ostwing. Which is just what you know, how there is a discipline, so they do need to be, just need to be careful about that. Maybe get the Morses to target it if available. Because it seems that Von is struggling to deal with this support equipment right now. Choo! 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 Also Austin seems that Dave is struggling in the north to hold his fuel now. It seems to be he's slowly retaking, but he got pushed back quite heavily then. Luckily, the AT gun was just in time, a right set up on the, on the right side, so... Um, yeah. It's very lucky Ashwick doesn't him. have um, anti-tank grenades. That could have been one dead Ostwind if there was AT grenades there. Yeah, on the, on the left side is no AT still, so if, if he were pushing left side, I think um, Brosras would have uh, some trouble. To yeah. dealing with there's that. There's so much support equipment that Brosras is pumping out, we've got two... Two Maxims, two Mortars. The Conscript Force isn't there, it's, the, it's just the, um, the constant the constant Maxims. Um, seems that Von is sending a lot of support over now to help. Um, two, two, um, two upgraded um, Grenadiers, and unfortunately yep. David loses his MG42 to the Mortars. He, he could capping it back, there's some uh, Kren still from Dave around. He could, but he, need, he needs to do it quickly before those Maxims set up into a position. Ooh, he's trying to it. destroy it. Cannot manage so it in time. A lot of rifle grenades going off here as well, but not really doing much against the MGs. Still enough to so let them retreat after all, so that is yeah. what he want to do probably. Mortar doing good work mm. from uh, Bros Ross as well, and uh, bring uh, the, at the moment, still suppressed Krenz into retreat probably yeah. very soon. Mm. However, Von's left, he's had a little bit, a little bit patchy, and there's a conscript squad that's rushing up to try and deal with uh, the uh, the mortar, however, the Ostwind is there to protection. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. Ostwind getting catch this? again on longest range from the AT gun on the right side, but uh, Ostwind could easily return and getting a repair. VP still are, are, are in favor of the Axis with an extra yeah, 100 Yeah, they're VPs. doing this time a good job with the VPs, can holding at least two uh, almost all the time. We have a pinned conscript squad in the north, however they did take the building in the north as well. That's gonna needs to be taken very quickly by the Germans or it could be it could hurt them quite heavily. Double mortars from Bros was on the field as well. One is almost mm. going down, you have to retreating slowly. He's just reset it up. That's risky, you could losing it. It's risky, yeah, they know there's a little going off here. Yeah. Now Dave doesn't have the munitions, he only has twenty one munitions, he doesn't have the munitions. Well, as well nice mortar hit again. Almost wiped the the Grand Squad. Meanwhile, the right side, right MG getting suppressed and flanked. Ooh, Could going down, but no risk if you stay there. In. Austin just gets in in time, and a T gun just reset again back. Austin is still low health. You need really yes. s uh, slowly some repair. We have still that uh, T3, uh, T4 up from uh, Atovic, who is probably going for a T34, or is waiting for. Oh, he could be going for a KV. He has the KV-8 heavy flamethrowers available as well, and mm. um, Rosros does anyway, so, the, so we do have the Doctrine, the Armored Assault for Artwick, and the anti-tank, the anti-infantry tactics for Rosras. So we got that recon all the which is good. Yeah. Arrives the field. See, why did he go for the 76? It's a very, very interesting I, choice. I, I would have gone for the KV-8. Yeah, probably... Um, There's not much to deal with it though, and a pack gun can't right. deal with a KV-8. I, I wonder that the... the KV-8 is just right now um, not not a thing, a but expensive. it needs probably a too much longer to to get this up. Mm. It's true, but like I said, but we know that uh, we know that Dave <laughs> has an Ostwin. Although he has not Dave has a Brumbar. Sorry, Brumbar so is we, that? We, know that, yeah, we know that Dave has a Brumbar, and we know that Von Ivan has an Ostwin, so there's not really anti-tank. There's a two-star Grenadier. He's being very dirty and trying to get the cat before he retreats. We have the counter against the T-34 uh, still on the field, it's a Stuck from Owen Ivan also hit the field. And we're probably now going against, uh, to help the Brumbear out in those situations against the T-34. Yeah. Which have sadly a bad time to penetrate. 
against the Brumbar yeah. with the big armor. Well, the Brumbar does, the, the Brumbar does have a sexy thick ass, so it takes a lot to pen it. Yeah. However, the, the northern side fuel is being at risk being taken actually by um, by Brozvas if he gets more support up there. Oh, hey. that's oh, engine damage. On engine the damage. T thirty four. Is he going for it? Looks like so. The Stug may struggle to. Oh, get looks the right like a push here it. from von Ivan and Dave trying to take down the AT gun, which is now yes. changed the direction. Osprey goes also oh, in. That's in a well. big loose here. AT that, gun that, that, going that down. That T thirty four is going down. The, the, the AT gun's gone down. The Osprey may get the kill here. Nope. The um. We got that. So basically, we have the AT gun wiped. He's try I think the AT gun, I think the Brumbar is trying to wipe the AT gun. However, yep. there is another T-34. With the stick together. Yes. However, the T-34 just can't deal with it. Um, it's but it just, they do need to wipe the AT gun. And then it goes yeah, down. He just wipe it. He just wipe it. Very it nice, a very nice hold, and a very nice push and a hold in the north. Uh, pos yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a two, three star Gren that's got a possibility of being wiped. But the Ostwin seem to have saved it again. Oswin on nice the play here. protection. My pressure goes Artovic. back to Artovic and Brosras, but they lose a lot for that. Yes, it has cost. So in the long run, I don't think it will. Uh, I, I think it will definitely go back into their hands. However, we do at least it's a T thirty four eighty five on the field now from Artovic. So now it's a bit, a bit more of a, a bit more of a thicker armor to deal. Take a bit more stuck shots. They can actually dish out a little bit more as well. Propaganda cast just hits uh, the yeah. ground. Double pack middle. gun from Dave as well. Uh, they they need it, I think, against. Um, they do. Not yet, but probably in the future. They, they still. They, they will need it. Like, that stug is that stug is at risk as well. The stug just have to be flanked, and then they, uh, there's nothing left to to dealing with um, those kind of tanks. There's not the really moment. much to deal with the Bumbar, especially with the Ziskun out the field. There's not like, only the only thing that can take it out is the T34. Yeah, the T-34 is the only thing that threatens the Brumbar. The Brumbar can yep. bring impurity over everything else. Possible MG going down. I think Vons is now getting very lucky with some of these models right now. Should have lost a lot of Grens and he hasn't. Second Stug out as well. Well, I will build very often Stugs, to be honest. Well, I, but Ivan's keeping his army this time as well, so he's, he's got the yeah. three veteran... He's got the three veteran Grens, which he didn't have, and he's still... But, and his mortars are relatively staying intact. But it's, it's, it's nothing back. against the army from day. If you have, like, four Grens, all upgraded with LMGs, then know where they are just this, right now. This is true. This is true, but Bond does have more armor on the field, though, to compensate yeah. for that. He has a Brumbar and two Stugs. However, Dave only... He doesn't have a Brumbar, sorry. He has an Ostwin and two Stugs, while Dave has the Brumbar. Probably maybe you're waiting for that elephant next. I think the Brumbar just to tie him up until he gets the elephant. That's why he has the double pack gun. Oh, uh, he has a big push coming in. Double stuck. Ooh. With Ostwin support. Is this gun, this gun's trying to reposition, but I don't, I don't think... I mean, it might, probably one. might kill. One stuck. Oh, one stuck gets a main gun destroyed. Oh, and the last stuck didn't and hit. Last stuck does, and the last stuck can't get the shot because of the smoke. Oh my goodness, and oh, this gun engine probably damage. killing the stuck on the retreat. The, 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 the stuck is engine damage, yeah. getting take down yeah. from the AT gun now, which finally have the right direction up. Very lucky he didn't lose the T-34. Extremely lucky. However, um, Dave has retaken the north with the Brumbar, and it's absolutely kicking ass right now. Just hit one star. Yeah. Almost killed two, almost killed an engineer. Brumbar with, with, with Gren four Krens upgraded all, and two AT guns. As backup, yeah. there's nothing well, to stop what, it. Yeah. Well, that, that is what I call an infantry division. <laughs> so very, and they're all vetted as well. Yeah, so, it's, it's, it's crazy. Got, the micro required to to make sure his kit all is alive is insane. Like he's got two more, he's got a mortar, he's got an MG, he's got two pack guns. Hasn't really done much yet, but there's not really much to shoot at. He's just getting mm -hmm. prepped, I reckon. Um, also, they'll be good to stop the this good to stop in flanks because I can imagine he's probably saving up for that elephant. That's what I would think. Maybe, oh, he could probably go for a uh, another Brumbar even. That, even. That's a bit, um, it's a bit, it's a bit risky. Maybe a Verfer even, but on this map as well, it's a bit risky. We have the MVP M5 still on the field. Last time we saw it on this map, it took down 30 Stuka planes, so we'll see what it does this time. Yeah, finally an anti-tank weapon on the field very soon from... Uh... 
Rosaras. He's going for the S85 to finally taking probably more aware about the, the Stooks, which are on the field. However, if uh, however if Rosas tries to push north with that, he's gonna he's gonna find uh, he's gonna find the Siegfried line and probably get hit by two a double pack. Yeah, that's true. So he needs to be very down. careful about that. Grumbar almost wiping the two star Maxim, having to get out of there very quickly. One hood almost got wiped. Very lucky. There seems to be there seems to be a massive um, congregation around the M5 there. Wait, the Bumbar's found the double Morses. Could be getting a, a well, big shot in. We've got a bunker bust around coming. Oh, Almost. if it was a second earlier, a second earlier, that would have been horrendous. Bro, so I see, he even tried to go for the bunker buster, which was a shame he didn't get it. The M70 still pays up. Getting one uh, plane instantly destroyed from the recon. Was it? Yeah, it, it was Dave's recon. And Dave's recon, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's insane still. I, I, I is really... the Ostman still alive, isn't it? Yeah, the Osprey's still. I'm surprised it hasn't taken down the... Um, it it the was too so far away, yet. I think. It was too so far away. Now he's just in, 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 in range. But yeah. still, it yeah. was too late. We have an incendiary strike on the bunker, which could possibly wipe it. I'm not sure if it's going to... I think it might. Yeah, I believe the incendiary barrage was just was enough to wipe the bunker. Yeah. Before the bunker dies, it's going to push back the console squad. Ooh, oh, no, down. the bunker's just alive. Oh, the bunker's just still alive. Yeah, that but bombard, I think that it will be been getting... amazing. He's doing so much. One more shot, and he's going to take out the. Um, he's debating it, isn't he? He was debating oh, it. Stuk pushed in after the S85 getting attention about the, the lost oh. wave, uh, the broom bear. Good, nice flank here. Oh yeah, but if you want to flank, oh. if you want to flank an SU, you don't do it with a stug. He's lost this stug. Yeah, yeah, he's oh, lost this stug. Oh, the stug is down. Yeah, it was nice try from him, but he was too aggressive. If it, was if it was supported, it could pull it off. Yeah. I, I, I thought he was going to go in there to attack round the the this get rid of the tank. So I thought he was going to do, but he didn't. When Ivan don't care about that, he just rebuild another stug. Well, yeah, he's just got another stug. He's doing the Dane method. If you lose the stug, rebuild the stug. <laughs> Saying that, look, Dave, Dave's army is intact massively, and he has a panther on the field now as well. So he didn't yeah. go for that elephant. He he saw the stug lost, and you know he he saw the fact that the issues on the field. The panther is just what you need to deal with that, to be honest. The Brumbar, well, you've got the Brumbar for the anti the anti infantry, which is doing a great job pushing back the um, Brozras, especially, especially with 17 kills right now, which is doing a great job. Well, I think the Brumbar, the Brumbar's probably going to get a shot in, going to get shot by the SU. Bumba probably, if you could see the double engineers, we're probably going for a cheeky shot to try and wipe them. Oh my god, both set it right for, for, for hitting the Brum Bear, the SO85 and the AT gun, but they, he can't see him. It. Oh, now it's away again, just oh, running back. Oh, the, the, the T-3476 taking a Panther and the Stug shot, and the Maxim going down as well. Wow. So the, mm. Also, we need to get in there, this is its time to shine. The, the Oswin just needs to get in there and support. Oh. It's moving in now. Brumbe in trouble. Getting some big shots in. He gets yeah. away. Mark target, mark target was used. Oh, that was oh, close. Oh. oh. Didn't penetrate the why? last AT gun shot. Oh, why is he pulling back? He's not pulling back. It's very risky leaving it there. Yeah, he, I think he, he, he think it's it's not anymore there. SU going for the flank on the Ostwin. Ostwin also now in trouble. Getting, getting some good shots in. Wiping a conscript squad with mortar on the wow. retreat. Other uh, AT gun could be going off here. If Artovic have... Protected. It has, but he was too far away. Oswin still could going down. going down. He's Maybe. gonna try and hide through the He's building. He's gonna know. The building is more hindered in than helped him. AT grenade goes off. Hunter goes in as well However, to support the SU, him. The SU has to retreat. He can't. He can't risk getting one more comboed. He can't risk it. The Panther's not gonna push. However, the Panther does need to push to help the, the Stug actually, because it could be in a sticky situation soon. All the all the Allied armor has been taken down. From half health, really. So. Wow. Extremely, but there is a Zisk gun that's been re-hit. This is that Zisk gun's the actual Zisk gun's model health is extremely low, and one little shot attack on onto it could actually wipe it. Very low, very low um, Grenadier squad as well. Oh mm -hmm. my! We're all almost losing that conscript squad. Not, not conscript, the three star Grenadier MG squad. MG also goes almost down. Did he get it? No, also gets away. Vons, Vons, just look like the Ostwin, that's two stars that died almost dead behind the building. 
it's just unbelievable luck right now. Whoever the Brumbar is, it wants to get hold of some of those conscripts in the center. It's, uh... it, it feels really like they want to finish the game off here right now. Dave and one Ivan really yeah. getting into VPs, want to finally yeah, hold the VP 60, points. It's literally, it's literally the same VP count as last game that yeah. they did against them. So this is what they need, because if they do make it to a game 5, it's all about VPs and to see who gets the faction pick. And so if they win this and then win the next game, it's going to be very, especially at this um, VP rate, it's going to be very, it's going to be extremely close to see who gets the faction pick. Because right now it looks like a Dave and Vaughn very heavy victory right now, unless the, unless um, Arctic and Brosros can lock down these VPs. There's just too much support equipment and they don't have the aggressive armor. The SU is not meant to be used as an aggressive tool. Especially if we have a Stuka, of course, air support moving in as well. Actually, almost wipes it. Almost actually wipes a Grenadier squad. And the Brumbar getting a bunker bust around, wiping 10 unit models. Oh. Jesus. Christ. <laughs> Big shot. Brumbar has to be MVP right there for this game. And no M5, and M70 surrender. around. And there's a surrender. Bros. Russ Atavik realized, the okay. Event. 51 VPs left. They don't have really anything on the field, which could just this big 